Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the previous year quarter or month information based on the latest date right so this is basically useful if you want to do the year over year comparison uh, with the same year last year same quarter last year same uh, the previous month comparison for month on month performance right or day over day performance and stuff like that so that's basically helpful uh, for all in most of the business application i use it on a day-to-day -day basis uh, whenever we design it because date is something which is very very common and we have to produce a lot of calculation based on that so how you can do it is i will show you and along with this few information about the things that i want i maintain for example this workbook where you can see i am creating these scenarios and the calculations are present over here so if you want to get, get this workbook, the, dis, the instructions are present in the description. Along with this, where is data set? Let me show you that as well. So based on the link that I have given in the description, you will come over here in my data set folder. In my data set folder, what you will going to find is this data set sheet. Here I'm maintaining now all of my data set and mostly I use this data set. Rest of that I have used in different types of uh, dashboards, but this is the one which is being used over here. So you can go ahead and download this in the from the row number 19. Along with this information about uh, this particular workbook uh, or the Google Sheet where I am keeping all of my videos. So this uh, inf instructions for this, how to get this sheet is also present in the description. What you can do is you can easily search any of my videos as you can see. 300 plus videos that I have posted and the link is present over here that way searching of the video is very very easy with that let's get back all right with that information here is the new workbook in which I have simply imported that uh, superstore data set sheet the orders sheet which has the orders data and has the order date so this is a new workbook just so that we can start from scratch for you and the first thing first is we need the fixed latest date so that is basically our anchor date based on which we can find the rest of the information. All right, so we'll call it fixed latest date. And this will be based on the max x function, which will allow us to take a table. And we want a table so that uh, it is, uh, you know, not impacted by any filter or anything. So we'll call it all function and we'll take orders, right? and then you will produce the expression which is again the max expression and we need the order date and the date part of it and uh, let's close it right so uh, i'll show you the impact of this i'll create a new table and i will going to take the subcategory and uh, i will going to take the order date from this transactional order date i will only select the order date and not the date hierarchy so over here you will see a lot of dates but what we need is the latest date so i'll again come here and click on the latest date will all will give me the maximum date that means accessories last sold was 25th december appliances 30 december so this is good information but for our purpose it creates issues right for example if i want to go to the la uh, last day then i will have if our, my scenario is that I want to go to 24th of December, then it is good. But I am if I'm reporting that what is basically based on the latest state, what is sold on the previous state, then our accessories is not sold, right? Uh, art is not sold or uh, chairs is not sold, copiers is not sold. Only a few products are sold and not everything. So what I do is I'll produce the fixed order date over here. And you will see that the order date that I get is basically the 31st of December as my latest date, right? That is basically the difference because now it is same for everyone. So for reporting purposes, we need this. Okay, so we have this. I'll delete this because we don't need it. Uh, we need a KPI and uh, that we will use it for our formula. Okay, so first thing first is the previous year. So we'll create a new measure. In the new measure, what I'll say is the previous year and uh, I will press Alt Enter and I will simply say variable. In the variable, 
name going to be the later state will going to be the fixed later state that we just created right and we will going to return alt enter uh, we will going to return what here underscore later state minus one right that's as simple as that and what we get is the previous date 2020 if you remember 2021 december was the uh, date that was shown earlier right so with this information um if you want you can go back to the month previous month as well just simply say month and it will take you to the previous month so december was the month right but now what you're getting is 11 so that means if you want the previous month information you have the date or the month over here very easily but with the quarter if you see the december is the fourth quarter right so in that case it should give us three right but the question that will arise is or you know where it will going to break is uh, what if if it is the january right so in that case the previous one will be the four right so in that case what we need we basically need the information of the latest quarter so alt enter var underscore latest quarter and we will say quarter latest date right or, or we can simply say variable because we needed a we have already created a variable right that is based on this and then we come over here and press alt enter and i say if latest quarter is equals to four or oh sorry one then four otherwise this and close this right it will not change the result in this case but uh, it will not going to break as we will move on to the january because whenever the january will be there the previous quarter will going to be the december of uh, previous year or it will take the four uh, and then we also needed the year as well that we earlier created if you remember so with the combination of that we will going to get the previous year quarter so that is something which i wanted to show you latest month latest quarter latest day week uh, sorry the previous year previous quarter previous week number previous day anything that you want you can create it right because over here you have day as well you have week number as well so whatever you want is available so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll now meet in the new video with a new topic